Good morning. Good morning. Hello. How's everybody doing? Doing good. Hi. Look what I got. Okay, tell me what that is. It's a halter monitor. Oh, interesting. Monitoring. It's monitoring my heart. Yeah. Oh. How are you feeling about that? Yeah. I can, I can imagine that's a little nerve wracking. Yeah, it's all the stuff that needed to be done in March, but had to be pushed off till now. So. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, I hope that works out. And it's, it's information. Information's always good. But, um, yeah. Yeah. But I'm sure that's lots of doctor visits and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's what this whole last week has been about and yesterday. So. Oh. Well, I hope you get some answers. Thanks. That's good. Good. Well, it's good to see you guys. Um, how are things going? Of course, you can um, type questions in at any point. So um, if you have any questions at all, any uh, anything has come up, um, the chat is opened. Um, you know, you guys kind of know the routine. We've kind of got it down pat. Um, one of the things that I want to... Um, Make sure you do. Um, within the next hour or so, I'm going to be updating your last unit. So that will have all of your grades um, on your, your test, your last quiz, um, all the homeworks from the unit. So take a peek at that. Um, I'm usually pretty good, but you know, of course, there could be an error in transferring it over. So don't hesitate to let me know if I made a mistake because it happens from time to time. Um, the other thing I just want to make sure is if, like, this week is it. So if you get behind, um, go ahead and contact me so that we can kind of come up with a plan to get you on track quickly. Um, we don't want to get behind this week um, because as we move towards Friday, Friday's the deadline for the class, and so you want like if, if we have to go past Friday, then we have to kind of jump through some hoops and, and it's always possible. We just have to provide documentation and it, and it's, you know, we have to apply for an incomplete and, and stuff like that. So if it's a, a, a legitimate extenuating circumstance, we absolutely can, can do that. Um, we just, you know, it requires paperwork and stuff. So, um, we want to avoid it if, if we can. Okay, so of course the chat is available. I'm going to share my screen. Um, everything is open for you, including the um, final exam review. And I know you're probably not there yet, and that's completely fine. Um, let me get into our class. Oops, I got to make sure I can see the waiting room in the chat. So that takes me just a second to pull that up. Here it is. I just like to see the chat as we're, as I'm, I'm walking through these things. Okay, that should be, okay, you should be looking at the Canvas screen. Um, so definitely let me know um, if, if you're not looking at the Canvas screen. Um, you know, we're winding down. Here's the calendar. I show you that every day. Um, here is where we are. We are in chapters five, six, and seven. You took a test yesterday. Um, it's pretty straightforward. One of the things, chapter seven is on graphing, and sometimes students have a little bit of trouble with the graphing. Um, so don't, this is super short, this video right here. Um, and this video right here will show you how to, um, graph and stuff in um, 
in WebAssign. Um, and that's chapter seven. So I think that's tomorrow's homework. But I, um, I just want you to be aware that, you know, when you start working on chapter seven, if you get frustrated with the graphing tool, that this is where you want to go right here. And then, of course, you can contact me during office hours or, or whatever. But um, there was enough students that kind of were like, Alicia, I cannot graph this last semester that I went ahead and did a video and that seemed to help quite a bit. Um, here are all your videos for the unit, um, chapter five, chapter six, and chapter seven. They're just little bitty pieces of chapter five, little bitty pieces of chapter six, and a little bit of chapter seven. Um, basically, chapters five and six, we're talking about how to do, um, how to solve quadratics, like you've been solving them by factoring. Um, basically, chapters five and six are how to solve them um, using the quadratic formula or completing the square. Now you will never be required to do completing the square or the quadratic formula. You will be required to do one or the other. Most students choose the quadratic formula in that, but I do go ahead and show you how to do um, both. Okay, just so you're kind of kind of aware of that. Um, here is some extra practice, as you know, that is not required. Um, here's some problems from chapter five, one or two from chapter six, and then here's some, some homework solutions. Students typically don't have a lot of trouble with chapter seven. Um, <clears throat> chapter seven um, is y equals mx plus b and slope, um, and students typically remember that from high school. Um, I got a message that you can't see the final exam and last test on WebAssign. Okay, then I need to um, look into that and figure out. Let me write that down. Um, the test and final exam on WebAssign. Um, okay, I will make sure that is available. So um, my intention was it to be was for it to be available at midnight last night. But um, if it if it's not there, I'll get it. I'll get it up there immediately. Uh, um, and here's some final exam. So your final exams due on Friday, and again, um, these are not required, uh, but but sometimes students just like to watch some videos of me doing other types of problems. So that's what this is right here. Okay, um, let's pop over to WebAssign and see what's going on there. And. Okay. Oh, I see exactly what you're talking about. We're, we're missing a test and we're uh, missing the final exam and everything. Okay, I'll make sure that I'll go ahead and make that visible right now. Um, so today you're doing chapters five and six. Chapters five and six are a little bit more difficult than chapter seven. So chapter seven should be super, super fast. Chapters five and six, um, it's square roots. And like I said, it's, it, it, it's numbers that don't work out nicely. So um, that's what you want to focus on is looking at um, chapters five and six today. Spend as much time on that today as you can. Um, and then you've got a quiz going on um, tomorrow. And then Thursday will be your review and your test and Friday will be your um review and your final exam okay so how are you doing i told you guys to check grades how to do graphing and communicate with me asap if you get behind uh, everybody's doing super well i'm i'm really really pleased remember your lowest test grade gets dropped um, so when you look at your grades, um, if you're like, ooh, I've got, I got a really, and typically that, uh, that third test, the one that you took yesterday, that's typically the lowest test um, in the class, just so you know. Um, yeah, so questions, how we doing? What else do you need from me? Okay, it looks like we're in great shape. Um, I have a meeting tomorrow scheduled at 10. I haven't exactly decided how I'm going to handle that. I may do a short video for you um, before I go to that meeting. Um, I can probably have my office hours up simultaneously with that. Um, I'll get a little bit more information about my meeting tomorrow. Um, and um, let's talk about that privately. We'll handle that through email. 
um, so um, I lost my train of thought. I totally lost my train of thought. Oh, meeting tomorrow. Um, so I've been called into a meeting at 10, um, but I will let you guys know what I'm going to do about that. Um, we're, we have a really good system. We've got it going. Um, of course, you can email me at any time. Okay. Any questions? Okay, Jillian, if you want to hang tight in the in the room, um, actually no, because I'm recording it. Uh, let's handle that by email. Let's handle that question by email. Okay, it's great to see you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Good luck. Bye bye. Bye.